All right, just want to quickly throw together a video. I've been asked kind of how I got things going with the, uh, the Xbox controllers down here and how it's all hooked up, seeing as there's very limited uh, USB plugins on the back of the Pi 400. And uh, it just comes down to utilizing um, some USB switches or hubs. And I'm using actually a total of three of them, and I'll show you in just a second what I'm doing, but what it allows me to do is I'm able to turn off the controllers, the regular arcade sticks, and then just press a button, switch it over to powering up, the Xbox controllers down below. And they will automatically recognize them. Um, I've gone through, just made sure that I configure the controllers so the buttons all match, but I'm sure it's already pre-set up that way, seeing that it's already saved a, uh, it's a saved setup within the, the system itself to actually have it in there. So the way that I ended up doing this was I'm actually just going through just one of the USB ports in the back. The other one I'm actually using um, a little audio converter as well, just so I could continue with things the way that I had things hooked up with the previous build. Um, never mind some of this other stuff, it's just to control some black lights that I have and it's going to look pretty crude in the back, but what we'd end up seeing is right here first off is going to be the main one that's plugged into the actual um, unit itself, into the Pi 400. And from there, you'll see I just ended up labeling one. This is mostly for my kids too to have ease of access to realize what they, or you know, understand what they want and which button to press. But any time that I'm going to switch it around, you need to do the switch before you load up the game. And so if I was going to play something on, say, like a Dreamcast game, N64, anything where I know analog is going to really come in handy, I will actually just press the button, let the screen show that that's no longer active, and then press the Xbox controller button, and that will do everything as far as getting the power to them, and then uh, loading up their profiles for it. But once in the back, you see there's one that runs back. This is going to be for the Xbox controllers. And those two are just turned on, so the moment that I push on the power button here, or switch it over, it lights up the two where I have these uh, controllers plugged in. Turn it off, turn back over here, and this is going to be the one that actually has the four arcade sticks into it. And so, and I think one of them got bumped off. Okay. Well, there we go. So they're the four arcade sticks. You do have to go through and make sure that they're actually uh, set up right so, you know, USB, you know, controller one is plugged in and it's all recognized in the same order that it would be when it was originally plugged into, uh, say, like the previous build. And so it works out really well. Um, I do have other things here too as far as the controllers. I have some of the uh, VR wire sets for sealing to actually help the cords retract. But it's a pretty straightforward um, setup considering I guess the limited number of hookups. It's just getting the right equipment or the right USB hubs, whatever ones you want to go with, and uh, sequencing things out so you can switch it between the two. And like I said, I do it before I load up the game just to make sure everything seems to run as is. So yeah, I hope that helps out at all. And if you have any questions, just shoot me a little message on here. It's all good. Thank you.